Hey everybody, Dieter with The Verge, and I'm here with a Chromebook Pixel 2 doing Chromebook Pixel 2 things. I've got a bunch of tabs open in Chrome, running Chrome OS of course, I've got a touch screen here, but what's special about this Chromebook, and what's soon gonna be special about all Chromebooks, is they also run full Android apps natively right in a bunch of windows here. I wanna show you how it looks. So here, as I said, we are inside a Chrome browser, but in addition to Chrome browsers, we have Android apps, so here is Photoshop Express, I have a photo of my good friend Neil I Patel, and we can edit it here. This is all happening locally. This is a local image, and it's just using an Android app. And then I can save it. And now I can just switch to Word. And this is the version of Word that Microsoft makes for Android. They didn't customize it for this thing. It's just a straight Android version of Word. And we can go ahead and insert that photo that we just saved from Photoshop right here. And there it is, it's in my Word document. And if I'm even more excited about it, I wanna share this thing, I can click the share button. And this is the actual Android share thing that you're used to on Android, but they've integrated it into Chrome's interface so it feels really native. So I can just go to this email here and I can send it out to somebody, which is pretty exciting. So in addition to that, there's also like basically any app that you install on your phone will work here. It's got the full Google Play Store and it syncs up your apps with your phone. So we can alt-tab through different apps. We can also even, if you'd like, play a game. This is using a touch screen, but you could imagine that if the developer just took a little while to work on this, they could add keyboard support for this thing. But as you can see, this is like really responsive and it looks really, really good. And that's because this is not running in an emulator. This is a full Android device that has the full power of the, the processor and the RAM behind it, which is really impressive. And then one last thing I wanna show is we've got these Android apps open, but uh, we've also got Chrome open and they're actually windowed. So you can, with Android N, resize your windows, move them around. It all just feels like it's all one operating system, even though some of them are gonna be Android apps and some of them are gonna be Chrome tabs. So that's it. We are still really early with Android apps on Chrome OS. Uh, it's coming to the developer channel in early June, and then it'll hit the beta channel after that, and then it'll get released to everybody later on this year. So while it's a little bit not super ready for everybody to use now, I am super duper impressed with what I've seen so far. The apps are really fast, really responsive, and really well integrated into Chrome OS. You should be excited. Uh -huh.